Would you date someone who's trans? Would you date someone who's black? Would you date someone who's fat? Would you date someone who's disabled? But I've met a surprising number of people who would say no to all or at least some of them. Their argument is that it's just a preference and that you can't control who you're attracted to. And the main concern that people have in regards to dating a trans person is that they won't have the genitals that they expect. Because we associate penises with men and vaginas with women, some people think they could never date a trans man with a vagina or a trans woman with a penis. But I think that people are more than their genitals. I think that you could feel attraction to someone without knowing what's between their legs. And if you were to say that you're only attracted to people with vaginas or people with penises, it really feels like you're reducing people just to their genitals. Intentionally misgendering trans people is an act of violence. Misgendering a trans person causes real psychological harm. Not only that, but it contributes to physical harm too. However you look at it, misgendering trans people causes real harm. Well, it looks like Riley Dennis is back in the headlines, and this time it's not for shaming lesbians who don't want to sleep with him and his penis despite how he identifies. No, it's for sending women to the hospital in the name of trans inclusion. So if you guys have been part of the YouTube political commentary sphere for a while, for years, you will know who Riley Dennis is. Riley Dennis was essentially one of the original social justice warrior far left progressive creators on this site that a lot of people, myself included, used to make response videos about. But if you're not yet familiar with Riley, don't worry, you will be. But essentially he made a name for himself uh, making videos spouting the farthest left progressive talking points you can imagine while also claiming to be a trans lesbian. Yeah, and the thing about Riley Dennis is that he was so far left and so in some ways ahead of his time that he was even considered controversial among progressives in some ways. As Redux explains about Riley, Riley Dennis was a popular trans activist YouTuber who has 113,000 subscribers. He has since stopped creating content, but during the height of his internet career, he received backlash for a controversial video in which he called genital preferences transphobic. The video, titled Your Dating Preferences Might Be Discriminatory and released in 2017, prompted outrage from lesbians who felt Dennis was attempting to guilt them into having sexual relations with males. Dennis deleted the video following widespread criticism and addressing the backlash said, these accusations of homophobia make it sound like I'm trying to convince lesbians to like men, but I'm not. I'm trying to show that preferences for women with vaginas over women with penises might be partially informed by the influence of a cis-sexist society. And Riley's take, which honestly now has become mainstream for progressives, but back in 2017 was a little more out there, it actually led to him getting removed from the website Everyday Feminism, which you guys might also remember was a great source for content back in the day. But in any case, like that article kind of alludes to, Riley Dennis stopped making videos a while ago, or at least he stopped making political videos. I think for a while he was still doing like Avatar The Last Airbender videos, but he really wasn't around doing activism anymore. So honestly, up until a few days ago, I hadn't heard or thought of Riley Dennis in years until I saw this tweet circulating online. It was a screenshot of a Redux article showing the headline, thousands of complaints filed after trans YouTuber allowed to play on women's football league reportedly injured players. And accompanying that headline was a photo of Riley Dennis. And at the time, at least for a little bit, I actually thought that they had mistakenly used a photo of Riley Dennis because I was like, what? Riley Dennis is like, he's not a soccer player. He's not in Australia, which I knew uh, this, this story was about. So I had assumed, you know, trying to give, I guess, Riley the benefit of the doubt that what Redux had done unfairly was just use a random stock photo of some trans YouTuber. And, you know, they were unfairly pinning this on Riley Dennis, maybe assuming that people didn't know who Riley Dennis was. And for a time, I was actually offended on Riley Dennis's behalf. I was like, you can't just do that. You can't just, you know, use Riley Dennis's photo because he's a trans YouTuber and make people think that he's the one injuring women in Australia. But here's the thing, once I looked into this story more, it turns out that no, Riley Dennis, the Riley Dennis is in fact, the, the trans person who's injuring these female soccer players because Riley Dennis has moved to Australia where I think his girlfriend is from and I guess it's just there sending women to the hospital. We're gonna be going more into the story, but first I do wanna say a quick shout out to my family's bath and body brand, Clearly Pure. Guys, Mother's Day is coming up in, in about two weeks. And if you haven't gotten your mom a Mother's Day gift yet, then we would be very honored if you would get her something from Clearly Pure. You can find us online by going to etsy.com slash shop slash Clearly Pure Naturals. And I know that's a mouthful, but the link will be down below in the description. And we have so many different scent combinations and products like body butter, 
butters and body scrubs, artisanal soaps, and we have a bunch of pre-made gift boxes that are really easy to select, or you can choose your own gift box from products you like. We have free shipping over $35 for anywhere in the US, and in honor of Mother's Day, we are having a Mother's Day sale that's really running throughout the entire month of May. There is 15% off the entire store, and you don't need any codes or anything. The discount is already applied. If you're not sure what exactly to get your mom, take it from a woman. Women, we love this type of bath and body product, uh, and this stuff is really good. Not only does it smell amazing, but it's really good for your skin, and this can be part of giving your mom a special day where she can, you know, relax, take a luxurious bubble bath, and spoil herself a little bit. All of these products and these formulations have been developed by my mom. This is something she's really passionate about, and a huge thank you to everyone who's already put in an order. We appreciate it so much, or left a review. It just means so much to us that you guys are enjoying these products as much as we are. So again, if you are looking for a Mother's Day gift or even just a gift for someone special in your life, plus you want to support these videos at the same time, then shopping at Clearly Pure is the way to do both. Now let's get into exactly what Riley has been up to since we last saw him. As Shay Woolahan writes for Redux, an Australian amateur football league is receiving backlash from parents and players who are voicing frustrations after learning that a man who identifies as a woman has been dominating the female soccer league and injuring female players. Football New South Wales League One reportedly has five trans-identified male players, but one player in particular has led the first grade goal kickers table with seven goals. Initial reports from the Daily Mail Australia had chosen not to identify the player, censoring images of him and declining to provide his name. However, Redux can confirm the player is trans activist YouTuber Riley J. Dennis. It has been alleged that Dennis, 30, who reportedly plays for Interalliance FC, injured women from an opposing site in a match last weekend. Reports that a female player had to seek hospital attention as a result of her injury are as of yet unconfirmed. Also noted that Football NSW appears to have scrubbed Dennis from their website, replacing his name with Interplayer due to the backlash they received, but screenshots from the past iterations of the site exist, showing where Dennis was clearly anonymized. It's noted that on Facebook, some football fans have taken to their platforms to support the female athletes competing against Dennis, condemning Interlinks. Lions FC for allowing Dennis to play amongst women. Biological adult males, and it's not just one, it is several, are playing in NSW Women's State League competitions, which contain teenage girls and young women. Shame on those clubs. It's also noted that Binary Australia are said to have organized a complaint writing campaign to football NSW, which reportedly received over 12,000 submissions. So if you're at all familiar with Riley Dennis, it shouldn't surprise you that he would be one of those trans people to try to play in a women's league. Uh, but unfortunately, that's not where this story ends, because because Riley Dennis, if you haven't gotten the gist of it yet, is not a nice person. He's not a good person, so much so that not only is he playing in a league where he doesn't belong and where he has an unfair advantage, as is clearly visible in these photos of him, by the way, but also makes this story just such a headache as the fact that Riley Dennis, once this started getting media attention, has also been on on basically a hate speech reporting spree. Because according to Shay, uh, the woman who wrote that piece in Redux, quote, Riley J. Dennis reported me to the Australian police for misgendering him in an article. Yeah, apparently Riley doesn't like criticism. So now Redux, this media outlet who's simply reporting on things, they're actually getting in trouble with the Australian government because Riley has reported them. The outlet actually posted to their own Twitter page, Redux has been contacted by the Australian government and advised to censor or delete an article we published on April 1st the article identified a trans activist accused of injuring female players at a women's soccer game. For that, we have been told we violated Australian law. Big yikes there. And a good reminder about how despite Australia being beautiful, it is essentially a nation of crazy people. Obviously, there are good Australians, and I assume some of you are good people, uh, to quote Trump. But yeah, you guys are crazy politically. We saw that during COVID, and we're definitely seeing this when it comes to the gender debate. But wait, it's not just this writer and this media outlet that Riley has targeted for hate speech. According to the Daily Mail, the woman who initially led the campaign to remove Riley, she has unsurprisingly also uh, been charged with hate crimes. Anti-trans campaigner Carolee Smith told Daily Mail Australia on Tuesday, she had been forced to seek legal advice after becoming aware trans activists were looking to have NSW police pin hate crimes on her. On Monday night, it was reported by ABC Sport that an investigation into Ms. Smith was underway amid allegations she had used multiple online platforms to organize the harassment and abuse of women players and footballing organizations, including Football NSW and Football Australia. And now, actually, to clarify, reading this Daily Mail piece, it doesn't specify whether Riley Dennis specifically is the trans activist who is trying to get this, this woman charged with hate crimes for not wanting 
wanting to see women go to the hospital. But essentially this is just so representative of where modern feminism is at. Like the actual concern here is that a trans woman might be bullied online instead of the fact that said trans woman is actually sending women, including teenage girls, to the hospital because of his just overwhelming physical prowess. I mean, just look at this photo. Does this look fair to you? Does this look like what you imagined women's rights would be? Because it's certainly not for me. But anyway, that's basically what Riley Dennis has been up to. And considering that it seems he's trying to hide this story, it would sure be a shame if we all shared it a bunch and exposed what he's doing and the unfair advantages he's taken over the women he claims to advocate for. That's basically it for now though. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. It helps me out so, so much. Until next time.